Hey guys, welcome back to another scam video. And today I'm gonna show you something I've been working on, collaborating with another YouTuber named Smarf and all credits to him and his channel. If you don't know who that is, there will be a link in the description and uh, you should go and check out his channel because he has some crazy good ideas. Um, now I wanted to see if I could get his version of these uh, window slits uh, in working with my own uh, uh, wall stacking. Now it's very crucial that you upgrade the way I am doing this because otherwise it won't be working. Uh, same goes for the placement and which you uh, fill in first and which you don't. Um, and uh, he has a specific video on this so I'm not gonna go through it at all. And if you want to, you can just go and check his video out. And so now I'm just building a, uh, well, a form of a, of a shooting floor. And you can implement this into whatever base you want to build and how you want to build it and so on. Uh, stability is not an issue with this because it forms up as a normal wall. Um, as well as you have this vast space to shoot out of. And so now it's done and we're going to be placing the, uh, the wall stacking by doing so you can just take it. You want to have the, um, um, the little uh, triangle to your left there. You want to have that sticking out, leaving you the, the bigger end of the triangle towards the surface you want to place it on or next to. And it is a little bit tricky, uh, but eventually we'll get it come on all right i think we got it here and just raise it up a little bit maybe a little bit more somewhere around there i think then we'll check it and yeah it looks good okay so now we can start placing the small uh, half wall here and then on top of it we're gonna place a door frame and then we're gonna start filling this in and uh, well if you can't tell already you'll you'll see where this is going I'm sure so not only do you have that very small slit of space up there you can shoot out of but now you actually have a door in front of it as well uh, giving you the ability to open up and shoot if you need to and close it if you also need to. So the um, the roof here kind of slits down on the side as you can see there, uh, covering a little bit more of the window, making it even harder for anyone on the outside to shoot you, but you are perfectly fine and can shoot out. So the way, um, the way you look you can either tilt on both sides or you can just sit and you can hold down your uh, control and scroll wheel so you can go up and down like that and get a better view now this is what you will be uh, looking at from the outside and that is a tiny tiny little space uh, for anyone to shoot you rather than you can actually shoot them all right guys that's uh that's how it looks and like i said smart has uh some better videos of this. All right, guys. So uh, thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. Um, this is the bonus clip, and this is something that I came across uh, while I was building the window slits you just uh, seen. And uh, you've probably seen a lot of bases floating in the air there's been stability issues and whatnot and you will not get that with this and so if it's not crystal clear just yet then i'll tell you this is going to be a floating base design now we're building these frames up like this because we're going to tear it down uh, uh, in a short while here and uh, you'll have a floating base but you have to do this uh, the proper way so we build a frame and then in between the frame we build a half wall and I'm gonna show you that just a sec here we go all right and then you fill it in starting with the frame uh, the half wall and then the frame sorry 
and if you do it the other way around it will not work um, and we're just gonna place these here as well it's a little bit of a struggle uh, especially when you get into the middle but you get the hang of it uh, and also we're gonna place in the middle here uh, right about now just because I don't know how you like your bases but I like to have walls inside or uh, door frames or you know whatnot yeah it is a little bit of a struggle again uh, but we will make it work and so I want to mess around more with this and make cool bases for you to to see your take after and give you ideas and whatnot but uh, until I know this actually works after the update I'm not gonna do so I'm gonna hold off for a little bit and uh, then we'll see all together if it works or not okay okay come on. any second now all right let's jump down yeah oh yeah there we go and yeah new all right sure we would make stairs yes yes Chris, get your fetish over here. Don't ask, guys. I'm, I'm weird. I know. Uh, now, I could stop talking. I could uh, fast forward here. But if I'm going to suffer through all of this, you better believe you'll suffer too. <laughs> Again, I'm so sorry. I am so bored. Um, I am strange. I. It's just how it is. And uh, now you get a better understanding. We have now a floating little palace up there. And uh, then you wonder, how do we get up to the bears? Well, we'll just uh, come up with that as we go. Uh, I would maybe suggest uh, rooftops, perhaps. Something uh, easy to to make. Or staircase, you know, whatever works for you. Um, and in my mind, if you have a little box or chest or anything with uh, building mats in you can tear this down and build it up when you log off or and so on meaning that anyone that wants to pick your base clean won't be able to actually lock pick your uh, doors without a uh, without a ramp to get up to it uh, and the actual only way to get inside of your base would be to blow it up using uh, rockets because you you're, you're not going to be able to reach to place the c4 uh i mean you could use nades maybe but yeah I'd, that would be a struggle too can we uh please come on when it does not work we go below because it always works come on maybe yes all right there we go come no, yeah, no, yeah, yes, there we go. Okay. Well, you get the understanding now, right? The, you get the hang of it. Uh, you have a base, it's floating in the air. Woo, whoopity, whoopity. And, uh, you know, yeah. That's the uh, bonus clip. And as I said, I, I want to mess around with this a little bit more. But I figured I'll uh, stick this out there for now. And you can you can mess around with, with it yourself. Uh, Thanks again to uh, Smarf for sharing his idea on the window slits. And uh, he's truly a creative guy. And if you have not heard of him before, you you should go and check out his channel. He is uh, he's, a, he's an amazing uh, builder. I get a lot of my ideas from watching his videos. Uh, that said, uh, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, take care. And Merry, Merry Christmas, guys. Uh, if I don't see you or hear from you. Uh, before then, I'll see you uh, next year. Daddy jokes for you. Yeah, see ya.